He was killed 73 hours before his 73rd birthday. I'm sorry, hours before his birthday. Tonight we're learning more about the pilot who died in a small plane crash that knocked out power to parts of Clay County. It happened last night. While investigators have not officially identified him, friends tell News for Jack he was Tim O'Laughlin. And no one else was with him when it happened. Investigators say the single-engine plane took off from Haller Air Park in Green Cove Springs and crashed 16 miles away off County Road 218 in Middleburg. News 4 Jacks reporter Vic Michalucci spoke with Tim, O'Lo Tim O'Loughlin's close friends about his life and his legacy. He was a well-liked and experienced pilot. A lot of respect here in this community. He first flew for the Navy and then for commercial airlines. Finally, as he retired, he would fly in and out of Haller Air Park here in Green Cove Springs. This is where he took off from yesterday afternoon. Great sense of humor and lots of skills. Tim O'Laughlin loved his family and aviation. His close friend Pat Lee remembers his flying buddy fondly. Today would have been his 73rd birthday. Tim was one of our wingmen and one of our, our really good friends and is a, uh, it's going to be a real loss. He's a great neighbor. Uh, he, he was a great pilot. And, and it's, it's shocking to all of us because we have no idea. State troopers and the NTSB are still investigating the cause of the fiery crash. There were no witnesses that we know of, so no one reported the plane crash, but it took down power lines here in this field off County Road 218, and that knocked out electricity for a lot of people in the area. And when utility crews from Clay Electric came to find out why, they made the discovery. The military veteran leaves behind a wife and a son, plus a whole lot of friends now left wondering why this happened. Was he in good health? As far as I know, he was in great health. He flew a single-engine, two-seater plane, very similar to this one, a home-built RV4. Tim took really good care of his airplane. It was a beautiful airplane. He spent his free time maintaining and flying across the country, doing flyovers and memorials for veterans and pilots who passed away. Now it is time for his fellow airmen to remember him. Every day you try to minimize the risks. Uh, that's what we've been doing all our lives, is to minimize the risk. We're not daredevils, we're not test pilots. Um, we, we fly really safe uh, procedures and airplanes. His friends and fellow pilots tell me that they are planning a memorial flyover and service. That is coming up. They have not chosen a date yet because they want to make sure that it works for his family members. In Clay County, I'm Vic Michalucci, Channel 4, The Local Station.